I think it's a little different than the typical museum. It's kind of otherworldly when you think about it. It doesn't really feel like I'm anywhere that I've been before. I remember feeling very at ease. I think it's very peaceful. It is really meant to be this unique place. I think it's a different vision. Every detail has been really thought out. The landscape is sweeping, immersive, beautiful. It's a very different sort of space. You're feeling like you have all of this light pouring in on you. The quality of the art is absolutely mind-boggling. I love being in room two in the Gutai section. There's a painting there by Kazuo Shiraga that he made in 1958. The palette is sort of dark, and you see these wonderful, like, sweeping motions. A lot of people look at the work as being very violent, and for me, I see it as really hopeful and wonderful, because he painted it with his feet. There's a piece by an artist named Richard Serra. It's called Sylvester. And it's actually a torque ellipse sculpture made out of core steel. And he's done a series of these, but the work that's at Glenstone is unique because it's placed outside. For me, it's a piece I like to go to often, go inside and just be in that space. The most interesting for me is the installation by Robert Gober, which is called Untitled 1992. And it's one of the most difficult of the works for me to get my hands around. People come back to it, and I think they find it as open-ended and as challenging as I do.
Glenstone is this immersive environment. It really is an escape from the hustle and bustle of every day. To slow down, take it in, rejuvenate, get refreshed. That's what the place is really about.